everybody, it's Aiden. I hope y'all are doing well. Um, I'm just making this video as a quick announcement um, that I'm basically going to be scaling back production on this series a bit, um, which is already a series that I'm recording in my bedroom on an iPhone uh, with with like l lamps for lights. Um, and without any external microphone, so there isn't really any production value to scale back, or so I thought. Um, but it turns out my computer has a webcam, um, and I have a chair, which is very comfortable, um, in case you were wondering. Uh, and uh, I was just feeling, well, f a few things. Um, first, that, like, uh, my, the school year is starting uh, on Monday, uh, my last year of university. Um, and I'm also now working um, a part-time part job, but like close to full-time hours um, that I really need to, de de to dedicate myself to. <laughs> so I just wanted to sort of simplify and make this video series just like very easy, very casual to do. It's just something I can like, oh, I'm sitting at my computer and I just have an, an idea. I just have a thought for um, something I could do with my language. So I'll just press record right now um, and sort of get those thoughts out there. And really take this series from something that's like almost like an educational series to more of a vlogging format, which is what I really wanted in the first place. Just like as a way to process, because I tend to process things better um, in these types of formats. And I tend to also learn things better when I have to go through the process of thinking them, writing them down, and then sitting, recording them, watching myself um, on screen, and then editing it. Like I feel like the step by step process is. Um, helpful and it really gives me the chance to uh, think through things really thoroughly. So I wanted to do that um, as opposed to doing a traditional blogging format. Um, I know lots of people, including myself, now have conline tumblers, um, which are all really cool, but I just felt like I would be able to commit myself to consistently writing blog posts, um, writing organized blog posts and publishing them. I just felt like this would be easier for me, especially since I'm um, a television writing and producing major at university. Um, and uh, it also gives me the chance to just sort of like practice or get into the habit of making videos on a regular basis, basis even if those videos are shit like this is. So sorry, y'all. <laughs> uh, it's, it's still like always helpful to practice the same way that throwing catch um, with somebody just casually, like throwing catch to your dad can help you become a better pitcher. I don't have a dad, so I wouldn't know, but uh, that's what I've heard. Um... I don't want, I don't want her to start chewing the vacuum cords. Uh, one second. <laughs> pause that. It has a pause button. I, I didn't know that, like, the webcam has, like, a little, like, ability for... Okay, I'm back. <laughs> it's very convenient. Um, uh, but yeah, so, um, that's happening. And then the other thing is, um, I also felt like the video that I've been editing for the past, like, week and a half, um, which was about pronouns, which I was going to release uh, last weekend. Um, I, I was just so supremely unsatisfied with it. And it was because, like, I think that with the video, with that video, and with, I think, my last couple of videos, too, especially my last one, I was sort of in this weird midpoint between being an educational show and being a vlog. Um, and while I said in the last video I would, would be comfortable making a separate educational series, something that I can really invest in and make sure is a valuable resource. Um, I don't know that that's right for this series, especially because, again, I'm making this series as a way of getting my ideas out there and hopefully getting feedback from other conlangers, and other conlangers are usually way, way, way more experienced. And so it felt weird to be explaining, like, very basic concepts, like, um, what is inclusivity, or things that are basic concepts to people who have been conlanging for, like, years. Um, it felt weird to just sort of try and break those down into, like, easy to understand, like, bits, um, knowing, like, who most of my audience is, um, I, my audience, oh, I, I feel sorry to, to have people who are subscribed to me now, I've, I've had two subscribers on YouTube, and one of them has been my mom for, like, five years, um, because I haven't made any videos, and now I have, like, 60-something, it's odd, um, 
if you hear a scratching sound, that's my rats uh, digging through some, like, I, I got, like, carpet from Home Depot for a separate thing. But I had left leftover, like, carpet squares. And so I, like, um, like put, uh, like, treats in them, like, sunflower seeds and such, and, like, um, popcorn kernels, um, or popcorn, um, and then, like, folded it up. Um, and so they're, like, digging through it. It's better than them chewing through my actual carpet, which they have done and will continue to do, I'm sure. Um, yeah, but uh, I just wanted to make this very much more clearly like a vlog that's personal, because as I have said in the past, I am entirely unqualified to like talk about conlanging or teach conlanging, considering like I haven't made a full language myself. Um, but yeah, anyways, I'm probably going to still release that other video I made about pronouns um, sometime in the near future as well as another video I recorded on the same day that I recorded the noun case video and the pronoun video, um, which I recorded, and it's about a writing system concept that I had. It's extremely rambling, um, but I think that like a lot of my ideas were actually pretty interesting with that one, and I want to hear your feedback. Um, ooh, baby. There will definitely still be rats going forward. I can't really worry about you guys. Um, yeah. There you go. Don't pee on my clothes. Don't pee on my clothes. Okay. Um, yeah, so I'm very excited and I'm hoping that this will be a lot easier to manage. Um, yeah, so if you guys have any feedback, as always, I, I love to hear them seriously though. Um, I would love to hear it and yeah, I'm excited. All right, see you guys.